So I'm cruising around trying to find uh, find where I want to paint today, and uh, I'm pretty much uh, uh, in the corn. So um, there's been a lot of corn. It's really tall right now, so the views um, from most of these dirt roads are, uh, wow, it's a lot of corn. I was hoping to find a nice, uh, a nice vista somewhere, and uh, based on based on where the sun is, somewhere in that direction would be really nice. But as you can see, that direction currently is corn. But I'll keep looking. Well, I found a uh, I found a doe and her fawn on the uh, on the railroad tracks. So that's interesting. I hope they don't hang out there too long. There they go. Me, I'm still looking around. Um, I went up a, a hill back there and I thought it was gonna be really promising. Um, there was one barn that was really cool, but I, there was just no place to uh, no place to set up and uh, and paint. So um, so now I'm just cruising down this dirt road, and I have a feeling that I'm about to re-enter civilization. So which means a small town. Let's see what we can find. All right, so after like 50 minutes, um, I think I might be honing in on something. Uh, there's a there's a barn up here that I might I might have a view of, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. Let's see if that'll focus on that for you. Um, man, I don't know if I'm gonna get a view of this or not. Uh, any other time of year when the corn's not here, no problem. It doesn't look like from this angle I'm gonna get a view. All right, we'll find out in a minute.
so here's what I'm uh, here's what I'm thinking on this one. Um, in uh, in in general, actually, I really like it. Um, I think uh, um, you know, keeping with the theme of uh, painting boats yesterday, uh, today, uh, doing something like this just kind of continues that train of thought. And really, what it comes down to is, um, man, you just have to look and look and look. You just Every time I do something like this, I, you just can't look enough and uh, because you see just such subtle things the more you study a subject and with all this white um, and reflected roof and everything like that in this particular painting, there are just so many variations of colors and I guess it's just deciding which ones are the most important to uh, to capture and, and then you have to fight not capturing it all so <laughs> to keep the immediacy of the whole thing and you know and, and um, just keep it fresh and and all that but in general um, here's a here's where I'm at at the moment um, I mean I think it's pretty it's pretty cool I'm having a really hard time um, getting this yellow um, opaque enough um, we're out here where it's in the light it's really not that big of a deal but it turns into kind of this yellow green back away from the light and that's a little more challenging so um, I think I'm gonna like right in here, uh, especially, I'm gonna try and just bring this, um, uh, I need it to be more reflective uh, in here. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. And um, But in general, I like the textures, uh, I like the turquoise colors I have kind of underneath here. I see a lot of that when I really kind of focus. It's, it, this is warmer actually than the, than the roof. Um, to me when I look at it, so it sounds kind of crazy, but I will uh, continue on here and um, and see uh, see what we can do. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna mix, uh, try and mix up a little bit of this, a um, little bit of this roof color real quick, just for this one area and I you know I see it as a as kind of a gray a light, very light gray um, so trying to uh, get that established I think I'm going to just use a touch of a, a touch of vermilion and then just a little bit of a, a little bit of sky color in there still keep it really strong but but be a uh, Kind of a light gray and it's just in this particular area right here where i think i just really want to lay this in there so that so that i can get this roof sounds like a train and then just kind of have it fade out when it gets down here, just a, just a tiny bit of texture, just to say, you know, there's still some ridges and stuff down there, but. There, I think that's a, I think that's a big improvement right there, just by itself. Um, and now I want to, I want to try and deal with these. Uh, I think what I'm going to need to do is get out some medium, and uh, in order to get the paint to stick on this uh, over top of what's already there, just to get these um, these carriage. Uh, I don't know if they call it carriage, but um, the gentleman was here earlier. I should have asked him. Um, but I just need to get these yellows here just a little bit stronger because right now it's kind of the same value as the well the same color and value really as the grass but uh you know when i squint down it's just a yellow color that i think it's just gonna have to be uh maybe hansa with a lot of uh, a lot of white in it and maybe a little bit of indian yellow just to make to get a warmer color than the uh, grass itself so i guess what i'm saying is i may have to change its actual color um, in, in order to get the effect, so that's what I'm going to do.
All right, so I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually use yellow ochre because it's so it's such an opaque color, and then I'm gonna add Hansa to it. Uh, and and then after I get if I get after I get a mixture of that, um, which I'm doing as I'm speaking here. I know you can't see it, but it's happening down below. Um, now I'm gonna warm it up with. Uh, with some Indian yellow. And then I'm going to take some uh, titanium white and mix in with that. Now it is going to change the it's going to change the color quite a bit. It's actually going to warm it up. But I think this is going to be an improvement, so Again, my my medium is uh, is a mixture of uh, about 50% stand oil with 50% uh, terps. Um, Makes a really nice, uh, really nice medium. So. It's, uh, it's more of an orange color, but that's okay. I can I can live with that. Definitely has it standing out more, which is just what I wanted. It just was kind of disappearing back there. All right, so now for these highlights out here. can lighten that up quite a bit. I'm going to actually put a touch of orange in it. And we'll see what we get here. Alright, then I just need to get this get this grass here, just kind of be up up and around it. Uh, just a little bit there. Ah. Needs to be kind of sitting down down in the grass, so it's, it's got grass coming up around it here.
Okay, so I guess I, I'll probably tight, tighten that up a bit um, later on. Um, when, uh, I mean, I can come back in here with the green and get these lines a little tighter, so I'll do that. Uh, uh, yeah. Not at the moment. I'll wait for this paint to kind of settle in and then I'll, I'll take care of that later. All right, so just one more thing here, and I think I'm going to actually kind of call this one, actually maybe maybe two more things. I might take a little bit of this grass that's, that's here and uh, catch uh, just a few uh, few highlights in it here. Just, you know, again, I'm using a heavy medium, not a whole lot of paint here so that it slides off the the brush real easy I'm using lots of medium because some of these verticals here are just catching a little bit of a, a little bit of light so and we'll put a few more uh, a few more down in this area just uh you know, it keeps the eye moving around. Go, okay, wow, look at those highlights on that grass, and then you, uh, your eye will start to follow them and moves you around the canvas. And then this foreground is not quite so, not quite so flat. These kind of clumps in here, kind of growing like that. So let's put a couple of those in here, and we'll take some. Uh, Darker, darker color down here at the base. Just down at the base of some of these. That got a little carried away. Let's get some of that out of there. There we go. So that's the one thing, and now the uh, second thing is I just want to go into this uh, background up here, and uh, I want to bring in. Get that up for a second. I want to. Uh, I think it's just too dark back here because it's competing with this, so I need to kind of, kind of get this uh, greenish blue green color. Uh, back there and I still want it to be you know fairly blue so it's going to be definitely cooler than cooler than these so it's going to be more like that maybe even just a shade lighter and I'll just add a little bit of texture in with that
Yeah, that knocks that back nicely, so. Okay. I think for now, that's it. Okay, so that's, uh, hope I didn't make you dizzy there. Um, that's it for this one, and uh, you know, I know I say this every time, but um, but I'm really uh, sincere about it. Just thank you so much for uh, for taking some time and uh, watching my video. Um, you know, if you're a, a painter who's learning, and there are a few of you who send me messages, Marta, as an example, um, thank you so much uh, for watching, and uh, please continue to send me your questions, because every time I get to think about something you're doing it actually helps me and I learn a great deal so um, I love sharing um, whatever um, knowledge I've gained so far in my journey so um, feel free to, to write your questions down there and, and ask away I'll be happy to uh, I'll be happy to contemplate those so um, as always uh, this is the part that I always say but I'm very sincere thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already and share it with somebody. That'd be great. All right, cool. Catch you later.